given that the whole metals complex has been crushed over the past few months, thanks in large part to the newfound weakness in China, we've got to ask ourselves, when will it become safe to own a high-quality steel maker? like the highest quality one, Nucor. On the one hand, Nucor is a very well-run company with a terrific scrap steel business model. But on the other hand, it's been under pressure like all the other stocks in its group from increased foreign supply and weaker worldwide demand for metals of all stripes. As of yesterday, the stock was trading at multi-year lows. But then this morning, Nucor reported a substantially better than feared quarter, company delivering a 13 cent earnings beat off of a 26 cent basis, even as its revenues came in below Wall Street's estimates, down 17.6% year over year. Nucor managed to beat the earnings estimate thanks to the company's strong cost discipline. And even better, management told us, and I'm going to quote, pricing has begun to stabilize, which are the magic words many investors have been waiting for. So is it safe to start bottom fishing in Nucor, especially since the stock now gives you the protection of a solid 3.5% dividend yield at these levels? Or should we remain cautious? Let's check in with John Ferrioli, Nucor's new chairman, president, and CEO, learn more about the quarter where his company's headed. John, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. I'm glad to be here. But John, you put up a real good quarter. A lot of it was the cost went lower than uh, you've always had a great cost model. And it looks like business itself is getting stronger. Where is it getting stronger? And can you maintain the low costs? Well, it's getting stronger in a, in, in a, in a lot of areas. You know, as you know, Nucor is the most diversified steel and steel products company, certainly in North America, maybe in the world. So we look, we touch a bunch of different markets and we see those markets, several of them getting stronger. Some are becoming a little bit weaker, but most we see as getting a little bit stronger. For example, non-residential construction. The pundits are saying should be up about 7 to 8 percent year over year. We're not quite that optimistic. We think more in the neighborhood of 5 or 6 percent year over year. But that's still a good increase, given that last year, non-residential construction was up about 8 or 9 percent compared to 2013. When you talk about residential construction, well, all you have to do is look around you and see what's going on. But the prediction is somewhere around 15 percent improvement this year versus 2014. That's, and that's, a, that's a big jump. Also, automotive, right, has been looking good for you guys. Automotive has been looking good for us. And, and that's, again, one of the strengths of our company. You know, we're so diversified. Whether Whatever market is, is, is growing, we seem to be able to take advantage of that. Automotive, as you mentioned. And we have really focused on that for several reasons, one of which is you mentioned about imports. The automotive steel market tends to be more import resistant because of the high quality demands of the steel and also the just-in-time delivery requirements of the industry. So that steel tends to be very import resistant. And at Nucor, we have been investing a lot of money in those products and those markets that have more import resistivity than others. Well, John, let me ask you uh, about these imports. There is trade bill through you at one time. I know I've been talking about the tsunami of imports. You actually mentioned on your conference call today that, look, there's good demand, but imports continue to come in. Are you, uh, are you concerned or are you sanguine about the Trans-Pacific Partnership Free Trade Deal? Will it give you some weapons to try to stop what's unfair trade? Well, it's too early to really comment on TPP as we haven't seen the language that's actually in the bill. Once we get a chance to take a look at that, I'd be able to make a more uh, a definitive comment. But I would like to comment on the legislation that has been passed as a, in, a, in a general way. And we were certainly pleased and we, we applaud the administration and the Congress for passing this bill. This is the first significant change in our trade laws in over 20 years. And it has really given us more powerful weapons to fight against unfair trade. And that's, uh, that's an important step for us. It, well, you need that in part. I know China, is, we think, is flailing. On Wall Street, we're very worried about China. Obviously, to protect ourselves from China, uh, let's say, imploding or something, sending us a lot of steel, you need these kinds of laws. Absolutely. And uh, although we were very pleased with the laws that the new legislation that passed recently, we also believe that there's more work to be done. And uh, we will continue to work with our elected, elected officials in Washington to provide a more level playing field for our teammates to compete upon. Because, right. Jim, I can tell you this, if they have a level playing field to compete on, they will outcompete anyone in the world. That's exactly right. Now, John, what does the future hold for uh, Nucor right now? Well, yeah, there's, uh, I hate to say the world is our oyster because we're in such a tough market. But when you look at the advantages that we bring, to the market and for the potential for growth in our company, there's a lot that you need to focus on. 
For example, our financial strength. We have a very, very strong balance sheet. And in addition to that, we have a consistently healthy cash flow that uh, those two alone allow us to continue to invest in our businesses during these downturns so that we position ourselves better to, uh, to capitalize on the inevitable return of the market. Well, I know, Jim. And as you is, know, Jim. But that's exactly we're, why we've always liked Nucor. The other guys have not. I'm not saying they've all fallen by the wayside, John, but their balance sheets are bad. You've got much more free cash flow, and you've done a remarkable job. John Furriel at Nucor's chairman, president, CEO. Great to see you, sir. Thank you, Jim. All right, guys. Now, we know it's a tough market for cyclicals. That's what we say every day. This is the highest quality one in the steel business if you're so inclined. Nucor. May have money's back in here. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.